Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way TV. My name is Rob Dukan and thanks for clicking. And if it's your first time here, guys, just listen to what I want to tell you. Simone Inzaghi has been dubbed as the, um, the new manager for Manchester United. But guess what? He has been approached. That's a fact. Uh, and uh, he has turned the opportunity down. I want to know what you think about that. Uh, the, I mean, is this even a true story? This is what I want to tell you guys. I want to tell you guys my opinion. I want to share with you. I would love you to tell me what you think. If you're maybe not even a Manchester United fan, but someone understands a little bit of football, get your thoughts below. I want to know if this is the kind of manager Manchester United uh, like. So guys, uh, before we move on, please, uh, if you like the short video, you want to join the community, subscribe, support us to do this. It takes two to tango. I'm here every day. We are going to do it. But guess what? I think that... Uh, yeah, start by liking the video, but I think this is not a true story. I think this is just a, a, a very unfortunate, it's very hot here, it's very hot here. It's very hot in the UK, in my hotel, the heater is there. Sorry guys, I mean, yeah. So, uh, so I want to say is, what I want to say is, I don't think the story is true. Why I don't think the story is true? Because um, since when Ineos came, one of the things we have appreciated Ineos, a part of the fact they have sold a lot of players. So yes, they bought players, they're selling those dead woods have made their... Uh, been a very good strategy for you if you're a fan i mean looking closer to the team you appreciate that one of the things i do appreciate is that in your time i'm working so hard in order not to make the the dressing room those leaks that we used to hear you remember there were a lot of leaks back in the early days you know everything was so free but this time around where well, they have uh in your have worked very hard behind the scenes <laughs> some will even say ten hag uh, in order to keep it in, in house, you know. So, uh, is this true about this in uh, about Simone Inzaghi? So, who is Simone Inzaghi, guys? He is, um, you know, I mean, has a he has a good a good pedigree as a manager in the culture. Good with uh, you, you guys, if you watched her, uh, was good with, with Inter Milan. He actually was a good player, maybe not better than the early <laughs> than the elder brother, uh, Filippo Inzaghi, who played for AC Milan. They used to call him Super Pippo very good scorer i wish he was playing for manchester united at the moment we need that box um uh, attacker well uh this story just cracked out and most uh, most outlets have spoken about it that uh unite eric tegna's job is <coughs> is in shaky shaky grounds and he might be sacked tomorrow uh, as you guys might have known already uh, that united were playing tomorrow and you know liverpool is leading crystal palace to uh, go to zero to zero now in london but look i want to say this in regards to this story, uh, I just think it's not uh, it's not very valuable. Why? Because Sergin, by the way, yesterday was asked a question about sacking Eric Ten Hag. I think this is a this is a media driven agenda. Is Eric Ten Hag doing well for Manchester United at the moment? Zero. No. Is it only Eric Ten Hag's fault? I can confidently tell you no. And uh, will the next manager come and change something? You can say temporary for one or two months. And why? The question is, why is it like this? Because of what we I call PP. You know what PP means? Player power. Because the club is still struggling to take power away from the players. And the, I think this was a statement everything I wanted to do, to show the public without saying it on the media. Because you have the media on one side who comes and creates stories that you read and you interpret it differently. Then you have the manager who has to talk not by talking but by action like taking players like Marcus Rashford out bringing him in and controlling the process it is very difficult in a club that has placed their brand on certain players and uh, yeah I even think that the reason why Eric Tenard sometimes his, his lineups are not very uh, are not really what you might want is because he wants to send a message out there guys I did not play the Premier League I play in a respectful level For those who know me know I played in a respectful level um yeah and i i re i i'm not a journalist the, the 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 brains of a journalist is different from the brains of someone who who played the game who has gone through you don't need to play in the premier league to be to be considered like you know someone who understands uh the way football is run and i want to say this let's come back to the story look i digress S simona Inzaghi coming how does he play i know mostly it is very popular this guy uses this is a popular tactic in the in the, in the calcio, uh, the Italian uh, league. Uh, that's it used to be is three five two. That's three five two. It's like three defenders, five midfielders. So everything is, is I mean the, the pressure is, is more on the midfield and two attackers. You need to have two really active attackers. I mean he was successful with that tactic, but when Manchester United play this way, will he work in the Premier League? You add well. I mean for you to have three defenders, 
they have to be really agile, confident on the ball, and uh, the transition has to be really quick and physical in the midfield. But the problem is in the Premier League, uh, would this work? And also, there is an issue here with the manager. It's so easy, it, it will be a massive mistake to come out and say, okay, you know what? This is the best thing that will happen Manchester United. United have got the real the answer to all our problems. Zero. Just like real-time war, one, uh, I mean, one weapon, that's the manager's a weapon, players a weapon, technology feeding, those are different types of weapons you use in a war, uh, in, in the sporting sense. If, when you, just like in the real war, where you need many, you know, equipment to dominate an opponent, a powerful opponent, <clears throat> it comes down to the most important thing, those who are shooting it, and that's the players. I will never, look, let me tell you, I will never believe uh, that I will never believe that a new manager will come and change this team when we have people like Marcus Rashford, who is a good player, by the way, but uh, who has too much power. You have people like Bruno Fernandes, who is a good player, who, who cannot control his frustration. I'm a little bit like that. And uh, other players who are like, you know, Casemiro, who is a good player, who's a fantastic player, but on the downturn of his career. So it is very difficult for you as a manager to come and bring results. So I just watched some highlights of Liverpool in the first half game against uh, Crystal Palace. You can see how mobile they are, how they move, how they interchange. They play, they play with some happiness. Maybe Ten Hag has been so hard with the players, and when you have a manager who's really hard, it's, re it's difficult for you to express yourself if you don't have the mental strength. Look, I mean, football, the talent, before you arrive, let me say this. In, for those of you who are young players, you want to make a career. Look, the talent, right? The talent. But if you work hard, you can arrive at level. Maradona said this during the World Cup in, in, in France, 1998. Was that it? Yes. If you work hard, you can attain a level. The question to maintain that level. That's the most difficult thing in football. It goes with your diet, your attitude, your sleeping. You have, you don't know what these players do. You have to be a top, top pro in order to maintain this level. And uh, not everybody, unfortunately, can do it. So um, my view on this is that I think uh, Inzaghi coming to Manchester United is it's a rumor. We know that Manchester has uh, spoken to, uh, ha, uh, this news has been even before they are talking about this. I think this is not only a media-driven uh, stop because Ineos are very good at keeping it tight, things tight in the club. I think it's a media driven thing. Um, I don't believe it. That is my reaction on this. And I want to know what you think below. We know that uh, talking about or not, uh, the situation is not only laid on Inzaghi, there are also a player, other players with Manchester United have, uh, on, sorry, other managers that Manchester United are looking closely to. I looked um, online, um, I looked online uh, and, uh, and I saw the bets where, where that. Uh, the guy, if Ten Hag is sacked today, the guy who will be uh, his replacement, uh, the, uh, I mean the odds, right? It will be um, uh, Van Nistelrooy is up there top as one of the main uh, favorites to take over Ten Hag's job, Van Nistelrooy. You have also Thomas Tuchel and, uh, uh, and uh, I think Thomas Tuchel was third and the second was uh, uh, the former English manager, uh, the former English ma manager. Uh, I just think it's a very unfortunate situation. I think we will... Let me just be clear with you, right? I want to say this as a fan, as someone who watches... Look, many of you have the privilege of watching Manchester United match, matches. Sometimes, I have to stick myself to get these games on live. I just want to tell you, I'm not, I'm not a better fan than you. What I'm trying to tell you is... I, I I follow I watch the games, you know. Some of the people you watch, they don't really watch the games. They they have they they, 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 they analyze football from a level of bias. You see, they analyze football from a level of uh, uh, it's a, some kind of interest, you know. But when you are a fan, you need to look at things more than just the results. I have said this many times. At every ten up, I did a short saying he deserved the sack. I, I won't be surprised, but. Sacking Terry Ten Hag, does that, what does that change with the club? He might change it maybe five games. When we start losing, the same media will come on that manager. So United, unfortunately, I haven't seen, they have never been a football club like this in the world. I mean, I've been following all Real Madrid, following AC Milan, this at Wood Capello back in the days. 
um, Arigo Sachi and so on, but they have never been a media driven football club like Manchester United. Maybe there might not never be another one like United, a club that everything, every little error you may be seeing. I'm just, if you sweep, I am starting to believe that if you swap Liverpool players, or let me put City, who have been a champion for a long time, players who Manchester United shirts, they will not perform well. Even with Pep Guardiola, the pressure will be too much. It's too much because we have we have a a very th- let me say this. I think this is a kicker here. In Manchester United, we have a a stubborn thirty percent who are so aggressive, which they are not even fans, but they participate in the stakeholding. That's including journalism, who are very good at bringing you up and also throwing you down, including some fans, and including people who live from conspiracy. It works in politics, it works in football. Unfortunately, so social media has bombed this uh, part of the niche. So it is very important that if you are a mature fan, guys, listen to what I'm saying. If you are a mature fan, you should try to think through when you are making decisions. Because in the, as your fingers are like this, all of them are not the same. That's how the fan base also, you have people from different areas. So it depends on who, who is putting in an input in terms of his opinion. So guys, that's my uh, view. I am concluding that. I just think to start to, to round up this is, I think this Inzago, um, 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 this Inzago, uh, Inza, Inzaghi, sorry, uh, news is a media driven one. I don't think, that, I don't think uh, Manchester United are, are in any way trying to bring him into the managerial role. I, I honestly believe that in Inzaghi, Filippo Inzaghi, is a player who obviously sorry it's a manager who obviously good manager but he's come but you bringing him for a club like manchester united not not i don't know if he speaks english not understanding the premier league he will be crushed he will be crushed and how does he change a player what has been his experience he and i forgot to say this he is an inexperienced manager as well he hasn't done much in the european scene so it's a, it's a tricky one and i don't buy that that news so guys, uh, yeah, tell me what you think below. I just want to know. Guys, we'll be doing our pre- our preview for the match against uh, uh, Crystal Palace. Make sure you stay tuned. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, share it with other friends. This platform is an easy platform. If you support, we grow. If you don't, we don't. So, I mean, don't come here in 10 months' time and see us. We are still on the same spot because you don't support and it's not only with the, uh, on the person in the camera so thanks to all of you who understand the language and uh, get involved in the united way and yeah talk to you soon bye bye